Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have a huge thrift haul of items that I'll be using in my junk journals and possibly just keeping for personal. Um, but these are items that I have been collecting for the past several months on different trips to thrift stores, uh, antique, an antique shop, swap meet, and I also have some items that I ordered on Amazon and Etsy and then a couple things from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started here. So as you know, I have been, well, I'll just start over here on the right. I found this Care Bear fabric, it's really cute. It is the alphabet, but super adorable. I found that at a thrift store. And then I also found these two Care Bear bags. I don't know how vintage these are, but I just thought they were really cute. And I think they were like 25 cents at the thrift store. And I can use those in my Care Bear journals, which I've been collecting items for. I don't, I'm not sure if I've mentioned that, but um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. I found a bag of vintage laces, all different colors. I'm not going to open it. You can see through here. It's like red, blue, purple, cream, yellow, peach, black. So yeah, lots of fun laces in there. And then here is one. It has some pink and white lace and blue and white lace. And then this one is just a cream lace. I found this. It is a set of vintage napkins and I think this is a placemat or two placemats. But I just love the embroidery on it. And this fun ruffle here so I can use all of this in my journals. I found three patterns that I'll be using in my journals. I found this Holly Hobby and I right now I'm starting a Holly Hobby journal so if you'd like to see that series I'll have videos coming up of working on that. So I found that one I thought was really cute. I used to have Holly Hobby and Raggedy Ann um, like as a kid growing up. I had a Holly Hobby bedroom at one time and a Raggedy Ann bedroom at one time. So I have made Holly Ho or Raggedy Ann books in the past. So I'll be making more coming probably after the Holly Hobby ones. So I found these two patterns that are the same. And I also found a little Raggedy Ann bag that I can use in my journals. And then I found this little book. Raggedy Ann and Andy on the farm. It also had, there was, this was like a bundle that came with two books, a coloring book. Well, it was these two books here. And then it had a coloring book. And then it also had a Raggedy Ann and Andy two plush dolls and then a set of different Raggedy Ann and Andy Christmas tree ornaments and I pulled that stuff out already. I just wanted to show you this time the things I'm using in my journal. So there's these, there are these three items from that one find. But it also, inside this little book, they had pulled out some newspaper articles talking about Raggedy Ann and Andy and then I just I thought that was just really cute and these were from later years like the 2000s but the books are, are a lot older than that this one's 1975 and then this one well they it was given to somebody in 1944 so the book is older than that, obviously. So I thought that was really cute. And then this Raggedy Ann 
is probably from, I would think, the, the 80s maybe. I'm not sure. It doesn't have a date in it. But it probably is probably around the 80s. <laughs> and then I found this at another thrift store. They are cutouts. The little um, paper dolls. So there's Raggedy Ann and Andy there. And then there's clothing pieces that go on top. These pieces are like a plastic or a vinyl. I thought those were super cute. The paper doll note at that, these were from an antique mall. I also found these paper dolls. They are Donald Duck and Daisy Duck, I believe. Let's go ahead and open these so you can see them. Bunch of little parts. There's, I guess, a couple Daisies, a couple Donalds, and then a bunch of different outfits. Just a bunch. So I thought those were so cute. So I can't wait to use these. I'm not sure. They'll just, I'll probably just stick them within the books when I make them. Try and do something with the head there to kind of reinforce it so it doesn't break. But I just love, I loved paper dolls as a kid and I just thought they were super fun. I make nice little additions to my journals. All right, I found these two read and play record books. They don't have the records in them, but 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I love this book as a kid. I read it and also have listened to the story, and I think there's actually a show. <laughs> I don't remember when that came out, but love that. And then I have this already in my stash. Um, so if I go to make a Snow White journal, I'll have two of them. And then I found this, I can read about horses. So I thought that was really a cool book, really cool illustrations. And this one was 1973. And then I found this book called Five Little Peppers and How They Grew. This one, I just loved, it's just an older book with lots of hand-drawn illustrations throughout. And I just loved the cover. I always loved the full color covers like this. So that was cool. This one, let's see what the date is. Nineteen forty-eight, and then I found a Wizard of Oz coloring book. I think I already have this as well, but it's always fun to have. I mean, I go through my different ephemera items for my journals a lot, and I've already made Wizard of Oz, and I plan on making more. So, and then I found this. Just to add additional papers to my journals, it's a phone book, um, like notebook insert, a package of them. And then I found Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This one is from 1967, was the latest printing of it. But this one I love. I love this vintage Rudolph. And these illustrations, I think, are so cute. And then I found a Better Homes and Gardens Cookies for Christmas. I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I have several Christmas journals in my shop already, in my Etsy shop. So if you want to check those out, you can. The link will be down below. But 
I think for this year I'm going to make like a baking Christmas baking themed journal so that's why I picked this up I just think it would be fun it'll be a different um, journal idea and I think it would be good a good journal for planning your Christmas cookies if you like to bake for Christmas or you know just a baking Christmas baking theme in general um, it would just be like a good organizer for writing so I think that's how I'm going to make or you know plan to make these or design them is for, for that purpose all right so oh and then one more item that I found at an antique mall was this old bingo game and it has the old wood bingo place or like numbers and tokens and then it has all of the old bingo cards they're all the black and black and brown so yeah I love that I love altering bingo cards so that was a cool find and then these next items I picked up at on Etsy and I'll let you know the shop. This is from one shop and it's Bueno Carta and I will have her link down below if you're interested. She sells a lot of junk journal ephemera and I ordered all of these items. So this one is a stack of wallpaper, vintage wallpaper little samplings. I will link if I, if I can find the, well, I'll just link her shop and that way you'll be able to see. I don't remember. Oh, this has a pack of 30. I don't remember the prices, but they're very reasonable. I'm thinking this was like $8, but it just has a bunch of different wallpaper samples of all different colors and prints. So this will just be fun to include these in my journal. I, I'm not sure she has different sizes. This was just a sample pack. But she may have like bigger pieces that you can order as well. So those are the samples, the wallpaper samples. And then I ordered this bundle of vintage playing cards. And it's funny because the top one here I actually had those cards growing up as a kid and I'm not I'm sure it's like a, an artist oh wait it has a name on there if I can read it what does that say I can't even read it can you see that <laughs> you probably can see it better than I can but there's that one that one Oh yay, Holly Hobby, this, I'll have to put that in my journals that I'm making now. I'm going to set that aside. What's that? I just love these vintage cards. That one's really pretty. Another Holly. Stick that at the Holly Hobby. Yeah, so there's that, and then I ordered two bundles of vintage tickets, and they're all different colors. They're both the same, so I'm just going to open up one of them. There's a pink, orange, red, yellow, and blue.
So yeah, I ordered two of those, both the same. And then I ordered two packs of different colors of guest checks. Because I know, I mean, I know you can order guest checks on Amazon, but they come in such huge amounts. And I suppose I could order and like sell them, but <laughs> I don't know. I never get around to it. I, I try to list ephemera and stuff, but then I like, you know, like to have them for my own stash, for my own journals. But these are all just all different colors. I think there's a couple of each color. So orange, green, kitchen check. And some of these are vintage as well. If not all of them, I'm not sure. They're new, but. So yeah. And both bundles are the same. And then this was a little freebie glassine bag. It has some die cuts, I believe, in it. Let me see. So, oh yeah, some a stamp. Vintage Canada stamp, and then these are little die cuts from paper. A little tag die cut and little hearts, scallop circles, and these are just two little squares of paper. So they're just a little freebie gift. So go ahead and check her out. It's Bueno Carta on Etsy. Alright, and then I ordered I believe these two items are from Amazon. I ordered this Candyland fabric and I I purchased one yard. I think it was like $11 plus shipping. But if you have been following my channel for a while, I make a lot of Candyland journals out of Candyland board games, old board games. So I thought this would be different to have a Candyland fabric to use on it. And I found this stuff at the Dollar Tree to use with it, so I thought it would be fun just a complimentary fabric. This is the Crafter Square, and I just love all the bright colors. And then they had bags that went with them, so I thought that would be nice. And then this I found on Amazon. It's an Eileen Hull Sizzix die. It's one of the really thick foam dies, but it is a traveler's notebook die, and it came with some tabs and like a little medallion piece to go on the front. So I want to make some journals using this die. So I thought that would be fun. And I believe that is everything. Just several things that I've been collecting over the last few months I haven't done. It's been a while since I've done a journal, a thrift haul. So hope you enjoy this and you may see some of these items in future videos um, when I go to work on all of my journals. So if you want to see and know and get notified when I come out with new videos, you can subscribe here and click the notification bell. And then you can also go over to Instagram and follow me over there. I try to post things regularly. It doesn't always happen, but <laughs> um, I haven't in a while. But when I'm definitely when I'm working on things, I definitely post things over there. So yeah, go ahead and check me out and I will see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.